President Edgar Lungu has urged business houses to engage the Ministry of Finance and propose reliefs that they would like to be given amid the COVID-19 pandemic. President Lungu says this should be done now as the ministry is preparing the 2021 national budget. The president said this when he visited Zongwe Farms in Sinazongwe to appreciate the challenges that crocodile and other farmers are facing. Here's a report. President Teddy Galungu has visited Songwe Crocodile Farm in Sinazongwe in order to appreciate the challenges that farmers involved in this business are facing. The officers took time to explain to the head of state how the crocodile skin is processed before it is exported. Proprietor of the farm John Jordan took the president on the tour of his crocodile farm after explaining some of the challenges that he's facing. Unfortunately, the 10% export duty impacted so heavily on the cash flow of the farmers that it derailed our tannery initiative. However, that dream still remains with us. And uh, as farmers, as an industry, out of nine farms, two have already closed down. In response, President Lungu assured Mr. Jordan and other farmers of government support. It's important that the sectors like those which are viable and have proven to be viable in the past are given a new lease of life as we go into the future. So this visit is not from without it because we have seen the numbers plummet in terms of the exports, in terms of the job creation that you have been doing and all these things. And one little bit told me, no, it's the 10 percent, the 10 percent, but I don't know how true it is, whether it's the 10 percent which has affected you adversely in the industry or there's something more. So this is why I came here, the fact-finding tour, so feel free to talk to the minister. I understand there's tourism here also. But my own um, uh, assessment is that um, even though we have given the 10 percent up to uh, December, it's likely that we will, uh, we will extend it beyond December. So. That should be the least worry for the industry. I think it will be extended beyond December, and I think that it's something that I'll consider as we prepare the budget for, for next year. Tourism Minister Ronald Chitotera encouraged Zambians to start keeping crocodile as a business. I want to appeal to the Zambian to go in this business because the raw material is readily available in our national parks. You heard the testimony from the crocodile farm. He went to our national parks and, and he picked the seed that has been producing eggs every year and the lifespan of a crop can go as far as six days. Later, President Lungu toured the banana plantation and the fish ponds at the farm. And speaking after the tour, the head of state encouraged Zambian farmers to diversify their crops in order to remain afloat. I think this is what I've been saying all along, that we need to do a bit more uh, in harnessing the potential that lies in our country, in the various parts of the country, of course and we aggregate this together at value and we ship it out for more money than what we are seeing now. Before leaving Snazongwe, the president assured the farmers that government will attend to their challenges in order to help them grow their businesses. Hector Sinfukwe, ZNBC News in Southern Province. Remember to hit the like button, place a comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.